Howdy, y'all. I am just finishing up the final details on the Tin Man. And I'm gonna go see if anybody shows up today. And here we go. All right. There he is. He's got his heart and a notch. And the notch fits in there so that when he's getting poured, it doesn't slide all over the place. It's got a little movement, but you know, you keep your finger back here. You pour your tea. When handling greenware, which is what, you know, wet pottery or even dry pottery, but still hasn't been bisque fired, you shouldn't pick it up by the handle. It's not ready for that. Even bisque ware you shouldn't handle by the handle. You wait until it's stoneware. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna, hey! Hi Patricia, hi Michael. I didn't know anybody showed up. You guys are fast, hopping on here. So I am just gonna clean up some extra and our little bumps and stuff. This morning, I spent some time picking his nose. It's very important to get your finger all the way up there. While I was sculpting him, I had my finger all the way up in his nose, and I was thinking, well, this is nice. This is, this is very intimate. You got to be real good friends to pick each other's noses. So what's going on with you two? I'd have started earlier, but my husband was home and uh, can't hog the internet when he's here because he has actual work to do. <laughs> we had such a rainy weekend. Our creeks were flowing, but by the time that I decided to get out there and take video, the water probably stopped running, so I didn't bother. As you can see, I just put a, a real lot of time into uh, Mr. Tin Man. This, this morning I um, put this little hex nut here. It's a little rough. A little hex nut with a heart in it. And yesterday I did the ears. So there's just a couple of spots that I'm just cleaning up. And then I'm going to have to say to stop, I'm going to have to tell myself, fight myself, and stop nitpicking and just go ahead and nitpicking, booger picking, and just go ahead and say, okay, he's good. I'm satisfied, you know. I find that I'm never 100% satisfied with what, with what results I'm getting. But, you know, I guess if, what was that, that philosophy thing? Would you rather be a dissatisfied human or a satisfied pig in the mud. And uh, I guess I'd rather be a dissatisfied human. That's the way it's going. Yeah, I just, there's just little, little flakes end up on him when I'm, when I'm carving. And then I got to whack those off there. But yeah, I'm going to start Little Bean's Cups too. I gave him one more little detail, kind of a meaningless little detail, but I gave him a little rectangle right here. And I worked on the crescent wrench a lot more this morning. Just feels the slightest bit rough there. I could probably take months and months nitpicking this if I wanted to, but 
That's not how I'm going to be working this. If somebody pay me twenty thousand dollars, I'll tell you what, I could work for months for twenty thousand dollars. <laughs> but now it's time for me to start. <laughs> Good, just hang out with us then. Get a snack and yeah, just bumming. Oh, you mean bumming around or feeling sad? I hope you mean just bumming around, which is fine. Me and my bathrobe got real cozy yesterday. I had clothes on and a bathrobe on top, which was really an interesting fashion statement. Let's see. Feels good. Just whenever moving this teapot, I would recommend taking the hat off. <laughs> you know, let's get under there. A little cleaner, a little cleaner edge. I've probably taken a quarter pound off him today. Just, just scraping off the little excess. Can y'all hear me okay? Snacks? Oh, shit. Really? 40 pounds? Well, Michael, I've been putting on weight. This morning I weighed in at the fattest I've ever weighed, not being pregnant. I was pretty upset with myself, but yeah, the snacks. I'm bad about the snacks. Yesterday I tried to eat a lot of vegetables, which got a lot of hummus dip on them. Yeah. Well, congratulations. That's impressive. I don't need to lose 40, but a solid 15 pounds, and I'd be pretty smoking hot. Of course, my face gets too skinny. Hey, who is what lady? This is not a lady. This is a tin man. God, uh, whatever. No bread? <laughs> Watch your mouth. Do not take the name of bread in vain in this house. God, I can't believe you would say anything like that to me. No bread. God. What are you, a Nazi? <laughs> oh, just kidding, Michael. No, that's, that's a great plan. One time I, had, um, I used to mess around with some hypnosis, and I kind of uh, kept visualizing butter as cellulite, and that really got me off eating. Oh, my God. Hang on a second. Clay just went down my shirt. Tell me I'm off screen, right? All right. Sorry about that. That was a weird feeling. You will make her open the can. Oh, yeah. In Texas, we've got this thing called a can of whoop ass, and I can open that thing up. <laughs> That's right. Don't make me open the can. Or the toilet, and then you get a swirly. You know, put the person's head in the toilet, and then you flush, and it get. Never mind. Goodness. So I got a, le a lesson today. I probably shouldn't tell you this, <laughs> but when have I ever stopped telling you anything, right? Okay. So when you're sitting on the bidet, pay attention to what you're doing, and do not turn that thing up too far. Okay. That's all I have to say about that. I'm wide awake now. That's right. Okay. Hey, Peoria, dude. What's America's greatest hits? Oh, my God. America. That's right. Oz didn't never get nothing. Was it Oz didn't get nothing from the Tin Man? That he didn't, didn't already have. I shouldn't sing because if I miss a note, then you guys could, you know, potentially make me pay for it forever. One time I was singing. Here's another thing I shouldn't tell you. 
that's okay, she's not watching. Uh, one time I was singing in the car and my, my mother looked at me and she said, you know your sister Janine, she has a lovely voice. Here we go. You know, that thing happens, like we're, we're live, right? So that thing happens where I say, ah, oh, you know, I shouldn't tell you this. And then I tell you anyway, that's right. <sighs> Ouch. Yeah, well, it didn't really hurt so much as shocking. <laughs> Are we talking about the same thing? I don't even know if we're talking about the same thing. Doesn't matter. Sir can. <sighs> Who will not, will not tell me how to properly pronounce his name. Come on. Help me out here. Can you write it phonetically or something? Hang on a second. I've got a... Oh. Ah. Zobby. If I don't make the go away. Oh, no. Okay, I'm getting a bunch of text messages. I will someday, I promise. Okay. Fine. Fine. Whatever. You just like me to say Sir Can, because it sounds like, you know, His Royal Highness Sir Can. Okay, so we're gonna stop messing with this. Okay? What do you think? It's touchy touchy messing. Yeah, I'm gonna set him aside. And get his little see the heart? Yay. I don't know what you can see because I don't I'm not even looking at myself right now. I'm only looking at the comments. Ha ha ha, says his royal highness the can. Okay. Away you go, Mr. Tin Man. Okay. I am I'm really proud of him and I hope that the Tin Man that is. Sir Can, I would be more proud of if he would practice his piano more and, and put up videos of it. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really proud of this project and um, excited to see what's going to happen. I'm not going to do like, it's not going to have like a detailed painting on it. It's going to be kind of an abstract, drippy looking, um, sort of metallic ish kind of thing going on which hopefully doesn't cover up the features too much, but um, I'm excited about that. Thank you, Peoria Duty. Duty? Wouldn't that be funny if it was Duty and not Dude? <laughs> you know why he's Dude? Because he likes that movie. What's that movie again, Peoria Dude? I don't even have anything for myself made out of this new clay yet. Nothing. I don't even know if I, hey, should I check and see if I'm on the screen? Okay, I'm on the screen. All right. Is it bright enough in here? You want more light? Is that better? Not really. Oh, well. Too bad, so sad. There you go. This is how I start off everything. One little snail. I'm gonna conquer the world with little snails. <laughs> the big Lobosi, of course, of course. The dude, something about the dude. I didn't really get that movie because I'm not from LA. <laughs> 
duty aid. That's appropriate. It was that appropriate right before the bidet accident this morning. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> okay. Hey, two people left the building. And since Peoria Dude and His Royal Highness Sir Can were here, that means that it looks like Patricia and Michael have left the building. You know, sometimes the phone rings. You know, whatever. Okay. I need to check one of these messages real quick. So, well, you're still there. What do you mean, hi? I don't take anything. You want to fight about it? Okay, so more than two people are, in fact, potentially watching. Why does it say two people are watching when there's, like, more than two people watching? I didn't leave punk. I, I know I'm a punk. I'm I, Okay, I apologize. If I say I'm sorry, does that make everything get better? And then it goes away, right? As long as I say I'm sorry, then whatever I did wrong, then it all just vanishes. <laughs> I was raised Catholic. <laughs> it didn't stick. Um, sorry, I gotta go say nine Hail Marys and what? And have a few women. No! I rarely ever drink any alcohol. It takes me weeks to finish a bottle of wine, so I don't even buy it because it turns to vinegar before I finish the bottle. Also, I'm cheap. And therefore, uh, it just really doesn't, my husband doesn't, <gasps> what do they want from me? Here we go. Okay, somebody about solar power, cool, of which I have two panels and no battery. My husband got me a little cool lithium battery, I gotta show you guys that soon. Somebody, some company they do business with at work gave it away. Help me please. Okay. When you get a message that says help me please, I should just have I should just have her get on here live so she can tell us what the problem is. Okay. My BFF son has to do a project on Texas history. He needs help. He needs to know what to do. They have no ideas. Don't ever forget the Alamo. What about the Alamo? Patricia, you're still here. That means Sir Can left. Sir Can, he can't leave. You've left me. No, I'm just, I think the count's wrong. Uh, where, does it? Google is your friend. No kidding. Okay. Would you, wait. Here, we'll do text-to-speech. Hey, I'm live streaming right now. Can I call you later? <laughs> okay, how about that? <laughs> okay. What'd you miss? You missed? Oh. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. I just started working on the, the, the cups for Little Bean. What I've decided to do with these cups, so exciting. We'll see if she agrees. If she doesn't agree, I can always like, you know, make it a normal cup and paint a garden scene on it. But I was thinking I wanted to make it look like a, like a large, like half corn cob and then put a three-dimensional B on it. What, what do you think? <gasps> the diehards, don't blame him. You cannot be blamed for your internet connection. Um, Henry and Tika are hot on the chase of a squirrel or something. I love the windows in my kitchen because I can just, I can look out and see what's going on. Um, oh boy. 
So, six watching now. Okay, who's here? Somebody else showed up. Hi, welcome to the show. We are making some corn cob teacups. So I thought the husk could come over and be the handle, like a piece of light. I have a nice light green um, glaze I can put on that. And then we can make yellow and white corn and a three-dimensional bee. Probably influenced because I've been watching that, there's a Netflix show called Hive Alive. Netflix searches are stupid, okay? Because if you search for bees, the show called Hive Alive doesn't come up. So you have to search Hive Alive. Ugh, Into the Forest, did you watch that? Oh my gosh. Seriously, you're dancing. It's the end of the freaking world, and you're dancing around and complaining that you don't have any music. Freaking whistle. Get to work. No kidding. Yeah, well, Hive Alive is just, um, it, wasn't, it wasn't a movie. It's just this TV show about beehives. And it's kind of the science behind them. How, did you really to catch a thief? Oh, good. Well, you, if you like old cars, you will like to catch a thief. They have some cool old cars, the ones with the, the some of the, uh, some of the, I think there were the police or something, have a, a car with the suicide doors. Um, a word, which I hate, by the way, suicide. Um, but uh, the doors are the ones that open this way. So that the way you don't want your door to open, like in the wind, because if you try to jump out, I suppose that they call them that because then the door kills you when you fall out the car. I, I think that's why they call it that. But anyway, it's really cool cars in that movie. And you know, classic old movies are just the best. Now they just, now anybody can crank out a movie. Hey T Giddy. What's up? Where are you at? I shouldn't have. I didn't I tell you the movie was like got terrible reviews. She shouldn't have. I warned you there were boob scenes. What do you want? <laughs> I warned you. <laughs> Everybody's like, ooh, yeah, I'm gonna watch into the forest. Okay. There you go. Cody, K-O-D-I, never heard of it. I used to have Hulu, but it had commercials. I don't like commercials. They make me want to buy stuff. Me? How am I? Now are you? I'm good. Yeah, um, I'm letting the Tin Man dry now. Trying not to touch him anymore. It's hard. Struggle is real. So, um, yeah, that Turkish internet. If you say anything that they don't like, they just turn it off. Turkeys. Oh, sorry about that, Sir Can. I probably said something offensive, and they turned off my they turned off my channel for, for a minute. How is that possible that you can watch anything with it? Is that like how I pick up the baseball games? <laughs> okay, so. If you can't get your local baseball game, you can sometimes search like Reddit and people put a link up to the game. This blackout, this TV, the blackout of the baseball games is just freaking stupid. Hate it. So this cup's getting, this cup's kind of big. I don't want it to be this wide. So I'm going to roll it. I'm going to roll it. Maybe it'll get narrower. 
I was thinking, you know, a straight sided cup. Yeah. It's really floppy right now. Wow. Yeah, we canceled DirecTV a while back. It was just, it was a ton of money. And there were like 750 channels, but nothing was on. So I really prefer Netflix to that. But I'll check out, I'll check out this other. Um, now I already forgot the Cody. K-O-D-I. We'll have to check that out too. Okay, I'm gonna force this to force the skinnier. Look, it's a pottery wheel. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a goofball. Um, I looked at the pottery wheels. There's still hundreds of dollars. And so I called a friend and I said, hey, do you still have your pottery wheel? And she said she was gonna find out. It was at her mother's, so, so that would be cool if I could get a used one. Especially if it's, if it's either not too noisy or if my headphones can block out the extra noise. Because I am easily irritated by background noise. Like, I don't like it when I can hear the refrigerator running. That bugs the crap out of me. And now I'm like, goofball, but um, I especially love this time of year because like, see the doors open? I just leave the door open. I have a fly swatter. <laughs> um, but I just like it when the weather is, is so calm that the air conditioner doesn't have to go on. I don't have to hear that noise. Air conditioning is actually required in Texas because um, you could die if you didn't have it. Smarter people, like if we were smarter, you know, when we built houses, we would have built them into the dirt. Did you hear that? <laughs> Chickens are nuts. Okay. There we go. Cups are so easy and fast. Teapots are like so much more complicated, in my opinion. Because you gotta, it's gotta work. And it's gotta be beautiful. I've gotta work. And I've gotta be beautiful. Totally get it. Oh, I wish we could have music on. Can you hear that chicken? Things like wah, 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 wah. that's my music. The sounds of airplanes going by and chickens. Wah, wah, wah. Lay an egg. I do yell at them pretty much all day long. Would what be an option? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me say there are also foot-powered wheels. Would that be an option? Um, I don't think that I want that extra learning curve of having the foot powered wheel. Honestly, um, that is, they also, they take up a lot more room because it, it's this large, heavy wheel that you have to kick with your feet and then it turns your turntable. And, um, I think that would be an added challenge that I am not interested in. I really, I, I mean, there is one kind of wheel. <laughs> I saw that, Michael. <laughs> okay. Um, where we go? <laughs> Apparently, I just went freaking viral on Instagram. Two people liked my picture. <laughs> I was, I just put up a little video of the, of the Tin Man, I think. Like, you know, turning around the head or something like that. Which is cool. The weird thing about Instagram is, like, I'm following some people, 
but I have no idea who they are. And I know that I know them, but I don't know who they, which person they are. So, like, because they've all got weird names. They all know who I am. Because mine is like, I think my Instagram is, I think it's the Silversmith, spelled my way. Silver, silver Smith with a Y on the second I. Um, but I don't do much with Instagram. I don't really get it. I mean, it's just pictures. But it was uh, rather nice to, um, during the whole election thing, to like take a break and go over to Instagram where people weren't being all political because political stuff is just boring. And everybody's like, ugh. I, th I hope the crybabies have all settled down now. So this is very annoying. Sydney! Good. TVs are, TVs are, eh. We have televisions, but all they do is show Netflix. We actually have probably one more than we need. Eh, kid uses it, that other one sometimes. But like the, we, um, I have a little TV in my bedroom that I got for a birthday. And sometimes we'll watch it and like if we'll watch it and uh, just go to sleep. But I really almost don't use that TV at all. It's got a, one of those, uh-oh. Hang on just a second. Uh, that's possible. Can you email me, T. Giddy, with your, um, with your solder job question? Uh, it's julie at silversmith.com. Okay. Spelled my way, you know, my website, or you can just go to my website and go to the, there's like a contact us page where you can just fill out a little form. That would be great. Where do you live, Sydney? Are you in the U.S.? Shipping's really expensive if you're in the U.K. Why do I think you're in the U.K.? Oh, wait. I just mixed up who's who. Okay. T. Giddy wants to know about the silver. T. Giddy, you are in the U.S. Yes? And where is Sydney? I thought Sydney's in the U.K. Okay. Sorry about that, T. I, I didn't see your, um, your post there for a second. I'm working. <laughs> Oklahoma. Oh, we're neighbors. Hi. <laughs> I think Oklahoma's that way. Um, I've been to Oklahoma before. I want to come back. I want to go to that cowboy museum with the, uh, the enormous paintings of each of the, what is it, each of the Western states, Cowboy Hall of Fame or something. I met the artist who painted those when he was like 90 something. It was like, like 20 years ago. So if he can't be the oldest person alive, so he must have died, dieted. <laughs> yeah. So has Oklahoma been spared from all these tornadoes? Apparently, um, we're, we're in the Dallas-Fort Worth type area. And, and a couple of kids went out in the woods, I heard from my electrician, that a couple of kids went out in the woods and they found a, a, a wire that had come down and I guess one of the kids touched it and the other kid tried to get him off the wire and they were both electrocuted to death, obviously. I think electrocuted means you die, right? Or, anyway, um, it was very sad. I think they were teenagers. So I said, well, is it okay if you whack them with a stick? And apparently it's okay to whack, my, the electrician says, whack the wire with a stick, a dry stick hopefully. Um, don't try and grab the person because when, when you grab a person who's electrified, your muscles contract and you can't, let go, you can't let go. That's why people end up dying. You grab a wire, you can't let go because your muscles contract on it. He said if he ever touches something and he thinks it might be live, he touches it with the back of his hand. I wouldn't even touch it if you think it might be live, but he's an electrician. That's what he does. That's what he said. But these tornadoes are so scary. And I, you would think that everyone here would just have storm shelters, right? Well, we don't, and people don't. It's another, what, 
they can cost like maybe six thousand dollars and people just don't do it I really would I really would like to have one I've already had I've already been lucky once with a tornado so um, I think it was ten years ago Tim wait hang on it had to be more than ten years ago I lived um, near downtown Fort Worth when Fort Worth got hit by that tornado and the radar the, the radio or whatever I think it was listening to the radio and the TV they were telling me that they named our closest intersection uh, that the tornado was going overhead and so I was in the closet with the dog and I could hear the roar of the tornado but somehow it just it lifted itself up and came back down again like a quarter of a mile away and did more damage so oh sorry see you Michael yeah tornado. there are parts of Oklahoma that have just just been unfairly pounded with these with these tornadoes it's always unfair you know but anyway I was safe and when the tornado came down where where it came down again it came across um, here you can't watch all my you gotta watch my hands too so it came across one of those um, giant um, advertising signs it had steel eye bars and the eye bars were bent all the way over like this so they, they there are like four of them and they use them as a sculpture it was so amazing that the tornado bent the steel like that that they um, they saved them and used them as a sculpture in front of the library. So we can always look at the damage. I remember driving around after that tornado down in downtown Fort Worth, and there was this office building. Um, I think it was the, uh, it may have been the Cash America building. And there were, like, people's computer keyboards and the wiring, just the keyboard just hanging out the window. and and. It was so weird. It's like somebody was probably sitting at that desk just an hour before that, and then here's their computer and their keyboard and stuff just hanging out the window, and a lot of other junk was hanging out the windows too. Only one person was killed in that tornado. It was amazing because it was um, the building that I worked in. I had already left for the day, and I was at so I was at home, and my husband wasn't home from work yet, but he was watching the tornado. Uh, from miles away and you know following the news reports and worried of course because I was home by myself me and the dog I'm gonna read your comments for a second ooh storm seller you're lucky Hey, Sutton's Days, how are you? That's Lisa. Lisa, I'm making a um, corn cob cup. <laughs> unless she calls, unless, well, I, I sent the, um, the buyer a, an email. And if she contacts me and says, oh, I don't want it to have, you know, corn cob on it. I want a garden picture. Well, I can change it. But at this point, my thought is straight, kind of straight sides. And then carve in the the little corn kernels, and then do like a husk, a husk handle. Okay. Is oh yeah, okay. Oh my God, Twister, when you were little, I forget how young you are, Senor Can. <laughs> oh, Senor, Mr. Can. Uno mas cerveza, por favor. <laughs> See, he said to me he didn't know how to order a second beer. And then he was drunk, but now it's, when you have to explain a joke, it's just not funny. Never mind. I was 11. Oh my god. They didn't have graphics that good when I was 11. I'm like 150 years old now. I know I look really good for 150, but super old. A couple weeks ago, I was thinking, 
I was done. I mean, my back hurt so bad for such a long time. I'm pretty sure that it couldn't have just been any kind of regular backache. Because I was, every time I would sit and like start sculpting, my shoulders would start hurting. I think I had a virus. Sometimes you, I, okay, that's just a theory. But um, like after like two or three weeks, all the pain was gone. Oh, I did. I know. I'm sorry. I ruin a lot of jokes that way. I matey. What? I don't know why I just said that. <laughs> mm. So it's growing. I'm doing thick walls because I'm going to be, you know, carving details out of the side. Also, I'm like, I'm pretty new at this, so thick walls is all over again. I saw um, some guy who made pottery, and he always scored the top edge before adding the next coil. <laughs> I have no idea why we do this. I, I think possibly it makes it stick better, or maybe he was getting down to, like, wet clay, but now it's a habit, and I always do it, and I don't know if it's, you know, if it's important or not. Maybe it keeps the coil from sliding off or keeps an air bubble for, for, um, from forming under the coil. Who knows? <laughs> okay. It's getting bigger. This is like, this might be a good, almost a good size. That is a, that's a good size cup. This is a wine bottle that I cut, and when they came out really badly, I just kept them for, see, it's, it's got a groove in it. I just kept them. I tried to sell them once, but apparently nobody wants my cut wine bottles. This one, I have a rocket. Can you see the rocket drawn on there? Oh, I had a great idea this morning. Because in the morning, I always, oh, I have awesome hair, huh? I just put clay in my hair. If I get anything on my face, you guys will tell me, right? Because the other day, the other day, like, I couldn't show my face in the whole video because I had clay across my nose. <laughs> and it looked horrible to boot. But, I mean, that just was the, the icing on the cake. Oh, boy. But, yeah, the rocket thing. <laughs> Lost my train of thought. Okay. So, I need a salt and pepper shaker thing so i was thinking i would make myself one in the shape of like one of these like 1950s you know round rockets and then the flames from the bottom i would have flames coming down and that would be the pepper shaker and so that each piece the 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 rocket would sit on top of the flames and so when you go to use your salt and pepper you take the salt off and, and then you take your pepper and, and then you put stack them back together again what do you think? Brilliant, right? Once I get once I get this, you know, once I get all my uh, orders caught up, then I will start making myself some something nice. I need something nice too. I've been working my butt off lately. Mama deserves a gift. Okay. Yep. These are cute. I'm not sure how tall I want to make them. Probably here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, me too. Well, I wrote it down on my list of things that I want to make. I also want to make a ring holder um, that's a, a like a skinny cat that's kind of tall. And then the tail will come up like, you know, straight up or curve up like this. And then, you know, you drop your rings down on the tail. That's another thing on my list. Also, um, stuff all over myself. Also, I want to do, um, I need myself, for myself, I need a butter dish. 
because Sutton's Days, she got my first butter dish. And that was awesome. I appreciate the love and support because I need it. <laughs> And I, you know, I really could use, <laughs> I could use a couple more orders for stuff. Now I'm getting, cause I'm getting caught up. And that would, you know, gotta pay the bills. I don't need any new shoes or anything. So I can't say like mama needs new shoes. It's just those regular bills that I gotta, you know, gotta pay the damn mortgage. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh, I've been on here for like 45 minutes. No wonder people are dropping off like flies. They're like, okay, this is getting boring. I got to go. Well, you know what, guys? I got to go too. I got to go. Seriously, how long have we been on here? I can't tell. I got to go. Um, make some lunch. I'm going to have to quit eating cheese. I think that's what the problem is. Like every meal, I think, ooh, you know what would be good on this? Cheese. So it's looking pretty good. Good stopping point, I think. And then once I get the, um, once it stops being so sticky, you know, after it's been drying for a little bit, then it gets really easy to carve. But right now, right now I can just have to, I just have to make the base of what I'm going to, what it's going to look like. I hope I don't drive myself crazy carving all those corn kernels. <gasps> okay, you guys, I'm going to sign off and catch you later. Look out for tornadoes and everything. Okay. I think this is how I got the clay on my nose. Okay. Bye. Uh-oh. Nose? Nose what? Nose what? You want to see more of this crazy hair? Bye bye. Okay, I gotta figure out how to shut this thing. My hands are all covered in clay and I can't get the thing turned off. Okay, bye. Thanks for coming, you guys.